because you can get a form labs for the newest model for 5,000. You can get a Midas for 10,000. You can get a Pro 2 for, I think, around the same cost, maybe 12,000. A, a Sega Max for around 12,000. So this is really the range. Now, why this range exists? Look, why does any range exist? Why is there Toyota and Mercedes and these things? It comes down again to what you want to do. And this is how I like to think about it. The needs of a lab and a, and a clinic is very different. A lab trying to get a printer, there's a reason why a Sega is the most famous and popular lab printer. Super open, over 500 materials, because a lab, kind of like a lab that does milling, you know, they need to be able to accept any material that their customers want to use, in a way. Of course, they will limit it, but they can't just use one material. The other thing with the Asiga printers is that the print finish is exceptional. It's one of the best in the industry. This is why labs love it. The downside in general is that they're more expensive and I would say they're slower than something like a Midas or something like a, even Form Labs, the new one is quite fast. And so the kind of the needs are different now. The other thing is, you know, to me, Genuinely, I know there's a lot of printers on the market. I limit it to my top four or five. It's very simple. I think a Sega is very good for labs and it's, it's even very popular in, in clinics that want to have a very open printer. 